chairman for Slenderman. We'll hold on a second. I'll come over. One minute, sharp, sharp, please. Yeah? Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 One thing I want to say in this place, uh, I am not teasy. But I, I thank God that. Uh, you are not easy. I'm not teasy. Teasy. Teasy, like Charlie. I'm not in a state of novel confusion or excitement. I'm sorry to use the language. But what I'm trying to say is that I thank God for my life. It's really good to regret about uh, what I've done that brought me here. It happened for the name of God to be glorified. And I found that this place is a place of sanctuary, not prison. A place of knowledge and understanding that you can understand between you and I. Things that we need to know about the human. That is what I come to learn in this place. So that is the reason why I have in mind that this place is a place of a sanctuary. The way to give somebody because I did give somebody. I'm a robber. Then, yes, yes. So finally, I came to find that there was no gain in it. You have been talking about things, and you moved me because I love the truth, and I want the truth to be said. I'm trying to use this media to tell the government that they are honorable people. Because the Bible has made me to understand that we are so precious, so honorable, and they love dogs. So they must know that we are human, we are not goats. That Christ came to do what? To change us, to show us the rule. If you are handling a head office or as a president, you must know the need of your people. We are their children. So they shouldn't look at us because of the error we have done to pass judgment on us. We can see change. So there are better people in this place. I have said it, I will continue to say it, say it again because I found that there are men of dignity in this place. People who can do something tomorrow in our day because people are waiting for the manifestation of the product that God has put in us. Did you hear what my brother just said? Hold on, stay here. He has made mistake. Nobody is above mistake. True, sir. Are you hearing me, sir? True, sir. Yes, you might have made a mistake and somebody died in the process, but you are not supposed to die because of that error. Because I know that many of, many of them inside the government office, they also made mistakes and people have died also, but they are not in prison. So sometimes we have to show mercy. That's what he's trying to say. Deal with people with understanding. Don't just throw them in, lock them up and throw the key away. They must die there because they made mistakes. It's not right. There are men of integrity here, like he said, so many of them. In Enugu, 161 death sentence, I had this kind of meeting with them. There are two pastors there. They did not commit the crime. And they are wasting there. They have been there for over 10 years, wasting for something they did not do. We can't condemn people like that. Sir, your message has been heard, and it will going to go forth. Even our vice president will hear what you said. I can assure you that. Thank yes, God. that I can assure you. I thank God for that. Because I know he has a listening ear. Yes, our president might be difficult to talk to because nobody talks to him. He's God, the president. He's God himself. Like we are talking about the president, he will hear. So God bless you, okay? God bless you. God bless you.